First, an SUTV mom shares one of entertainment reporters Chandler Harris's favorite holiday treats. So we're gonna let you know this is one of my go-to desserts for the holiday season. Really easy because it lets you cheat and you can use store-bought cake mix. Don't tell anybody. Here are the ingredients you need first. You need one package of 18 and a quarter ounce of yellow cake mix. And I cheat even more and I get the cake mix with the pudding in the mix. Also, you'll need one cup of sour cream, a half a cup of each vegetable oil and water. You will need four eggs, one tablespoon of pure vanilla extract. And you will also need a cup of mini chocolate chips. And also you will need a butt pan like this. You wanna first take your cake mix, pour that in your mixing bowl. The next step, number two, is you're gonna take your sour cream and you're gonna put that in with your cake mix. Scrape that all off, make sure it's level and put that inside. Step three, you will add your half a cup of vegetable oil, that also goes into the bowl. Step four will be your half a cup of water that will also go into the mixing bowl. And step five will be you will crack four eggs and put inside the mixing bowl. I'm gonna get in this thing. And for the last step of the cake baking, mixing rather, you will take your mini chocolate chips and you will fold those in gently. You won't mix those, you'll fold those in gently into the mix. We're now going to prepare the batter for the pan. We're going to use the nonstick baking spray to coat our butter. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And we'll hit start using your spatula. We'll pour it in our prepared pan, scraping down the sides making sure we're getting all the batter. Miss Carmen already put all the ingredients in and mixed the batter. And when we come back, Miss Carmen's gonna bake the cake for you guys. Stay tuned. Now we're gonna start to bake the cake. We're now gonna put the cake in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 50 minutes. Now the cake is out of the oven and it's baked for 50 minutes, we let it cool for 10 minutes before it's time to glaze it. And to prepare the vanilla butter glaze, you will need the following ingredients. You will need butter, confectioner sugar, and your vanilla extract. Now it's time to pour the glaze on our chocolate chip pound cake. Make it nice and rich. Do a couple little designs on there. There you have it. Vanilla rich chocolate chip pound cake. Voila! Hey guys, the cake's ready. Mmm, looks good, Miss Carmen, looks good. Well, thanks for staying with us. Hopefully you guys learn how to cook something here over the holidays. I'm here with my family, and we're about to dig in on this cake right here. And from my family to yours, happy holidays. Happy holidays! <laughs>